you know, as soon as it happened, um, everybody here in Lethbridge who knows somebody in Edmonton was was phoning and texting and emailing to make sure that, you know, the people that we know are are okay. And, uh, you know, we reach out to the police association in Edmonton and make sure that, you know, they've got what they need as far as supports and try to take care of one another as best we can from a distance. But it's, uh, it's shocking. It's, it's horrible. It's devastating for an entire group of people who work together like that on a daily basis uh, to lose somebody so tragically, they're going to have their work cut out for them. What a, Mm -hmm. what a tough road to hoe for the Edmonton police here for the next little while. I think it can be really easy at times for members in the community to sort of take for granted the service and the sacrifice of police and of first responders until something like this happens. And then there's a bit of a reminder that there's a significant cost for, for what we do day in and day out. And the very real threats that we face any given time of any given day. And I don't think that can be lost and it ought not be forgotten.